Hey guys, Mira here. If you're thinking about switching to an eSIM, but you're not sure how to set it up on your Android device, then this video is for you. Setting up an eSIM is actually super simple, but if you've never done it before, it can feel a little confusing at first. So in this video, I'll walk you through the entire process step by step, from checking if your phone is compatible to activating your eSIM and making sure it's working properly. And if you're looking for an eSIM provider, I'll also share with you my go-to option, Saley eSIM, which I've been using on my trips. And so if you decide to give it a try, you can download the Saley app and use my code GVUTECH at checkout to get an exclusive discount. That said, let's get right into it. So first I want to talk about what Saley is. So Saley is basically a global eSIM service that's designed for travelers who need a reliable and easy way to stay connected in over 200 countries. It offers a variety of flexible data plans. So whether you're visiting just one country or you're traveling to multiple destinations, you'll always have access to fast mobile data. On top of that, it comes with built-in security features with things like ad blockers, web protection, and virtual location routing, which help reduce tracking, block annoying ads, and protect you from unsafe websites, all while saving your data. Now, getting started with Saley eSIM on your Android device is quick and straightforward. First, you'll wanna just download the Saley app from the Google Play Store. Look through the available data plans and choose the one that best fits your travel needs. Then the app walks you through the entire setup process step by step, making the installation process simple and hassle free. Once you've purchased your plan, you'll receive a QR code for activation. To install it, just go to the settings, then to connections and to SIM manager, then tap add eSIM and scan the QR code provided by Saley. If you need to enter the details manually, you can do that too. Just follow the app's instructions. And after the activation, set Saley eSIM as your primary data provider in your settings, and that's it. And you only need to install the Saley eSIM once. So for future trips, you don't have to go through the setup again. Just purchase a new data plan through the app, and you're good to go. No SIM swapping, no airport kiosk lines, just internet connectivity from the moment that you land. Okay, so now that you know how Saley works, let me share my experience using it while traveling. So I've used Saley on multiple trips, and honestly, the setup was so simple, taking just a few minutes. And what I loved is that I didn't even need to change out my physical SIM card, which if you've ever tried without that tiny SIM tray tool, you know how annoying it can be. I mean, I've broken plenty of earrings trying to pop it out in the past. But with Saley, there's no need for that. You just install it once and you're good to go. Also, in terms of the performance, it was great. I used Saley for everything. Getting around with Google Maps, checking emails, scrolling through social media, uploading photos, and even video calling. And the connection was consistently fast and reliable. Whether I was in a big city or in a more remote area, I never had to worry about finding Wi-Fi or dealing with slow speeds. One thing I really liked was Saley's built-in security features. They've got an ad blocker to help cut down on intrusive ads and save data, web protection to keep you safe from sketchy websites and malware, and a virtual location feature that helps add an extra layer of privacy by masking your real location. These might not seem like a big deal at first, but when you're traveling and using different networks, having that extra security definitely gives you peace of mind. On top of that, the app keeps track of your data usage, which I found super helpful. I'd get a notification when I hit around 80% of my data limit, so I knew if I needed to top up before running out. And if I did need more data, adding it was super quick and easy, so I never had to worry about being disconnected. Plus, I got the chance to test out Saley's 24-7 customer support when I had a quick question about extending my plan. They responded fast and walked me through everything step by step, which gave me extra confidence that if anything ever went wrong, I'd have support available at any time. So to wrap up this video on how to install and activate your Saley eSIM on Android devices, I have to say, it's a super simple process. The setup is quick, the connection is reliable, and you don't have to deal with physical SIM cards or expensive roaming fees, which makes it a great option for Android users. 
And just to remind you, if you decide to give Salie a try, you can just download the app and use my code GBUTech at checkout to get an exclusive discount. And if you're looking for a more in-depth review, I've also linked a full breakdown that covers everything that you need to know. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope this video helped you set up your eSIM without any trouble. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this one. And of course, if you have any questions, drop them in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to get back to them as soon as I can. Other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.